everyone welcome back to a new video in today's video i am going to be doing a gel polish set using some neo nails colors and my uh nail sugar natalie mugwood detailer brush which is my favorite detailer brush ever you would say i'm a little bit biased but actually this is still my favorite brush um it's a triple zero ultra fine brush you can get really fine lines and my born pretty ombre brush which i love um i'll leave the link for that in the description box below with a little discount code at born pretty as well the colors i'm using are neo nails Gr lady green um mrs adventure sandy glow this one's gorgeous and snow queen so those are the four colors we're using i'm going to plop a little bit of each of the colors onto my palette um um don't worry that they're sort of on top of each other we are going to mix the colors through with a little uh, dotting tool we're going to do a marble you see and this is the way i like to do my marbles so just wiggle your dotting tool through it but don't do it too much because you don't want the colors to you know smudge together and then picking up the ombre brush no picking up the i'm gonna pick up the gel using the ombre brush tis friday tis friday words are gonna fail me today i can feel it now i haven't got any blooming gel or base coat on the nail because i actually don't have any i need to get some base coat from neo nails um but you can put that down and place this in the uncured base coat and or blooming gel not and you don't want to do it as well as um but yeah that will just help the colors disperse but i was really pleased with the look of this the look that i got look at that that's so pretty pop that in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds then i've taken some of that sandy glow this is gorgeous it's like um it's not i don't know i don't think it's a glitter i think it's more like it's like there's like gold flakes through it but it's such a pretty color and the coverage is amazing i'm gonna just use my brush to just tickle some of this through the marble i kind of want to follow the lines but i'm not going to go too mad i just like maybe like th three lines through the marble and i'm going to cure that into the lamp and i just think it gives like a nice touch a little bit of sparkle you know do you know what i'm saying then the next one so like Oh, any of these nails would make a really gorgeous accent now. I kind of think maybe I went over the top doing like lots of different ones. But you know what? It's all good in the hood. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Um, this one I'm going to put Lady Green at the bottom. And Mrs. Adventure at the top. And then I'm going to cure that in the lamp. Don't worry if the colours sort of smudge a little bit together where they meet. We're going to go over that section with some of the sandy glow anyway. So don't. this doesn't have to be like neat. You can even have a slight gap between them. It's entirely up to you. Each coat I'm going to cure in my lamp. Um, every time I see Lady Green, I, I think of Lady Garden. I don't know what it is. It's really bad. Um, I just It's just my eyes are like, did that really say that? No, 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 no. It's Lady Green. God. Weirdo. Right, now I'm going to take some Sandy Glow. And that is going to go where those two colours meet. This is going to be like, you've got that really dark green skirt, pencil skirt, and then you've got that lighter, limey green blouse. And this is going to be your glamorous belt around your waist. So this is going to just finish off the nail. Although I am going to add some crystals at the end, which I actually don't show me adding, but it's just a really simple crystal placement on the nail it's like pips so i'm gonna pop that in the lamp to cure right the next nail i'm doing like little sections so the marble notice that when i apply the marble i'm keeping it to that top right hand corner so yeah i'm gonna cure that before i do anything else and then on the nail i'm gonna add in each different corner i'm adding a different color and notice that i'm not doing like this one is a little bit further up like it's not a complete cross Do you, you know what i mean um it's sort of like patchwork but not really patchwork again don't worry if the colors touch because we are going to separate them with that sandy glow gel polish this is the second coat 
I love this green, it's so nice. I'm going to place another order um, to get some more Neo Nails colours because I do want to do some more Neo Nails um, gel polish designs because I know the bling line is only for professionals so um, I feel like I, I need to do a few more Neo Nails sets because I don't want to leave anyone out like you home users. I want you to be able to, I want there to be products that I use that you are able to use as well um yeah that's that's how i feel anyway um so right look between the colors we're using that sandy glow i just feel like this color just sort of finishes off the nails i just think it's so gorgeous it's a really nice gold as well it's not those horror i don't i'm not a fan of yellowy golds i mean they have their place don't get me wrong but i love these more champagne gold colors i think they're beautiful there we go and once you are happy pop that in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds then this nail i've i was left over with a little bit of um the marble the gel polish for the marble so i thought i'd go in with two coats of um snow queen they do do different kind of different colored whites this one seemed a little bit sheer um i don't know you can still see the blue tack through that um i haven't cured this i'm placing the 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 gel polish through the uncured white gel polish i just wondered if it would help disperse the color it still looks cool anyway that's going to go in the lamp to fully cure and then again i'm going to use the sandy glow gel polish to go down the side of the marble just to sort of finish it off not well you didn't you don't have to put this down the edges i just felt like because i've used it in the other nails i just felt like i needed to use it again in this one and then again, I will fully cure that in the lamp. Lamp. Pop. Um, this last one is just going to be a full nail of Lady Green. Because I'm going to add a, a, some crystals on this one. Really simple crystal placement. The crystals that I use are from the Sherbet mix. And I think they are from the Statement. Because they're the bigger crystals. Um, but I pick out the sort of greeny, yellowy colours. I think it was just the green and yellowy colours. Um, once I've finished, I'm going to top coat with the Top Vela. I don't know if I say that right, Top Vela. Um, this is the matte top coat. So when you're top coating these, you want to make sure that you are completely covering the whole nail. Otherwise, if you miss any bits, you're going to have like sections of the nails that are shiny and some and, and like them. The most part's going to be matte, but then you might have like the odd shiny bit. There's places that you want to pay um the most attention to like the side walls i find sometimes when i do these i don't go down the side far enough and i'm like oh dear whoops but yeah so just make sure you cover the whole nail pop it in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds and then when they come out they're gonna have a tacky layer i love doing this now this has become one of my things it's like this is like my top coat in time but it's not it's like they when they come out where they've still got that tacky layer on they're a little bit shiny still but when you wipe them off look they just it's just like oh yeah check you out matte finish underneath i don't really show it very well because i'm a little bit too close to the camera but you see when once that i'm using alcohol isopropyl alcohol once it dries you're just left with this beautiful matte finish you'll see it on the last nail especially because it's quite dark I love matte nails, especially marbled matte nail. Look, ready? And it also looks like it's going to be grainy, but it isn't. Look, ready? Wow, I love it. I love it so much. So I'm going to add um, some, this is the hard top gel, top coat. Um, again, this one's going to have a tacky layer on. But what I decided to do was where I've got all this, the gold gel polish i'm just going to go over all the gold bits with the hard top um just to give it a shiny finish i just thought it would be a nice touch because the, all the nail the, the like the, the whole nails were matte and i thought oh, it would be quite nice to have the shiny gold so i'm going to do that on the other nails as well and then i will wipe off the tacky layer and then yeah this is what they look like with the crystals added the crystals are from Crystal Parade. I love them so much. Um, thank you for watching. 
If you did like this video, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. You can get 10% off at the Little Nail Shop using code NATMUG10. Don't forget the new Bling Line collections are released today as well. Oh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on Monday.